Hello everyone. I know it's been a while, but here it is. 3D printed RC car version 3. Version 3 has a lot of major improvements over version 2. For starters, it's completely redesigned, so the chassis sits a lot higher now, and this allows it to travel through grass and rocks and other obstacles much more easily um, without getting stuck. Version 3, as you can probably can tell, is actually four-wheel drive. Uh, and you can actually make it rear wheel drive or front wheel drive uh, by just not including the drive shaft, axles, and differential on either the front or the rear. And it, it allows the car to really take off really well and it grips the road uh, when you're going fast or, or making turns at high speed. Um, so it actually works really well uh, and I was, I was pretty impressed with how well it works. Um, but if you want to have a little bit of fun, you can also lock the rear differential and then it's nearly impossible to keep it going in a straight line uh, in the best possible way. There's still a torque damper on it, uh, but this time I integrated it within the gearbox. So you should be able to see that on the screen now. Um, and I think this just works a lot better than the half-baked implementation from version two. One major point that's constantly brought up by skeptics is the fact that I designed the entire car using PLA. Um, and this is actually intentional. This is part of the design because I wanted the car to be as accessible as possible. Uh, I didn't want some people to not be able to make the car because their printer couldn't handle certain materials. And actually, I found out that PLA actually is holding up really well. Um, if you take a look at these axles here, uh, these axles have been on the car for about four or five hours of driving. And as you can see, they're very lightly worn and they still have a lot of life left in them. But um, actually more impressive than the axles is the gearbox. Uh, I've actually just about doubled the width of the teeth on the gearbox. And after I've done that, um, these gearboxes uh, have not actually stripped at all um, since doubling the width of the gears. So they're holding up really well. Um, and also even more impressive than that uh, are the front and rear differentials. Those have not stripped at all on version three, not even one time. Um, so those have held up actually for the entire life of the car. Um, they haven't stripped even once and I've still got the same ones in the car. Um, as you can see here, I'm actually taking it out though um, because it was locked on the rear and I'm switching it to an open rear diff um, just you know to see the driving dynamic change a little bit uh, because it does drive a lot differently and you can feel it. Reliability so is actually really good on this car especially compared to other 3D printed cars that I've designed. If something does break, which things will break, uh, I've designed it so that most of the parts that break should be printable in 30 minutes and normally I keep pre-printed spares on hand so it's just a matter of switching it out and you know since it's 3d printed it's extremely cheap uh, to handle broken parts you may also notice that the control arms are 3d printed um, this is mainly to reduce the cost of the car but it actually does make it more functional because the 3d printed control arms do not need to be adjusted and you can contour them to fit the car best my diy 3d printer i never thought i could print accurately enough to make something like this work but it did and it can these are much easier to set up than regular tie rods with rod ends uh, because um, there's no adjusting because they're printed to be the exact length you need and you never have to worry about it. You just put them on and they're right. So there's too many things that have changed between this and the last version for me to list off in this short little video. Um, so I will put a change log in the description. If the car is not on Thingiverse already, it will be on Thingiverse uh, soon, probably in the next few hours to the next couple days. I want to note, this car is not the only project that I'm working on. So if you would like to see some of the other stuff I'm working on, um, it'd be best for you to follow me on Instagram. And yeah, you can see that I post a ton of pictures of even this project while I was working on it and a ton of other projects. Version 4 is already in the works. I'm going to make some even bigger changes fundamentally to the design of the car. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching. Overdose of sauce.